Well, precision medicine will also gain greater prominence as part of that research plan. The government's established what's called Precision Health Research Singapore, or PRECISE for short, to coordinate the country's 10-year strategy in this area. Precision medicine is an emerging medical approach which aims to personalise treatment and prevention by taking into account a patient's individual variables like genes or lifestyle. For more, we're joined by Professor Patrick Tan. He's Executive Director of Precision Health Research Singapore. Prof, thanks very much for joining us this evening. Uh, just to start off, what's the significance of this investment into precision medicine for Singapore's population? Well, thanks very much for having me here. I think it's good to start off with what we already have in place in Singapore. We have an excellent healthcare system, as evidenced by the response to COVID. But it, this is a system that's under pressure. We have an elderly population, more cases of disease, and at late stage disease. So in order to maintain our high standard of healthcare, what we're trying to do is to use data to be able to deliver good healthcare in a more targeted fashion. This can occur in a variety of different ways. We can use data to try to predict who will be at risk for disease so that we can treat those individuals early and reverse with individuals with disease, we can possibly allocate the right drug for the right patient and even avoid adverse drug reactions. And that's what precision medicine is all about. It's about collecting the types of data that influences healthcare outcomes, genes, environment, and lifestyle in to deliver those sorts of better outcomes. Now, this is done in institutional studies in the past, but this is really the first time that we've had a large-scale nationally coordinated program in precision medicine that will last for many years. So help us understand then the role that PRECISE will play and how that will benefit us. Yes. So this is actually not the first time I've spoken to Channel News Asia about this and perhaps I'll provide a bit of an update. One of the major gaps towards the implementation of precision medicine in Singapore and increased Asia is that we lack a lot of Asian data about our genes, about our diseases. And this is important to fill this gap because there are many diseases and conditions that are different between Asians and the Western populations. So in order to do precision medicine in Singapore, we need to generate comprehensive nationwide databases of our own population and then compare them to Western databases. So last year, we were able to set up a first stage database of about 10,000 Singaporeans for three major ethnic groups where we did comprehensive gene sequencing on all of them. And this was a good start because it gave us a good sense of what is the types of variation that's normal in the Asian populations. That's, you need to know that before you know what is disease. Now, in the in RIE 2025, we'll take this to the next level. We'll work with hospitals all across Singapore. We work with universities all across Singapore. And to analyze a cohort of 100,000 Singaporeans, handful more, not just gene sequencing, but comprehensive lifestyle information, clinical deformation, and by integrating that together on a national scale, we'll be able to give insights into the types of genes and factors that contribute to Asian disease. And this integrated databases, as we work with these participants over time to monitor their healthcare trends, will yield more and more insights into Singaporean and Asian disease, not just in the short term, but for decades to come. This is, this is the significance of what PRECISE is trying to do. So uh, we understand that it's not just about data, right? It's about building up and being a catalyst for the wider precision medicine industry as a whole. Uh, and that, we understand, is, is, is still quite nascent. Uh, what can Singapore expect uh, in terms of the wider industry moving forward? Well, actually, to be very honest, this is a great question. And um, Singapore has actually a very special role uh, that other countries are looking at. In fact, when people are hearing that we are trying to develop this program, we're seeing a lot of interest from other companies with very interesting new capabilities. Uh, these are companies involved in DNA and diagnostic technologies, pharmaceutical companies that want to develop drugs for Asian patients, and even IT companies specializing in big data and artificial intelligence. And they're all very interested in working with Singapore, Precise, and working with other government agencies to bring their capabilities to Singapore. And so this will hopefully catalyze almost a new flank in our economy in the area of precision medicine. 
And that will also empower the growth of local companies, small SMEs, as well as we hope the next generation of precision medicine-driven startups created here in Singapore. We look forward to working with the entire ecosystem to develop that. And just quickly, Professor, given how promising precision medicine appears to be in managing health outcomes, how long before this approach forms a considerable part of our medical landscape? Yes. So right now, uh, the initial database that was created is already being used uh, by clinicians in Singapore in the treatment of other patients with genetic disease. It is already having an impact. In the future, I think this larger scale database will give us more insights. And one of the other things that we'll be doing is actually to think about the most responsible and effective ways to bring this into the clinic uh, so that it can be mainstreamed as part of routine healthcare. So this is part of the, uh, the Ministry of Health's larger scale efforts in healthcare transformation to deliver better health outcomes for Singaporeans. So it's already having an impact and it will continue to, de to deliver so throughout the period of RIE 2020. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing this with us as well. We've been speaking with Professor Patrick Tan, Executive Director of Precision Health Research Singapore.